Assalamualaikum, Tasha Hao, Yapidi Yorkingi Vanakam. My name is Said Sadik, I'm the Member of Parliament of Moa. It's the one here. It looks political, but the story is beyond politics. It's during my nomination day, during the last general election. So, if you notice, instead of having a lot of party flags, we replace it all with the Malaysian flags. It's symbolic to me because when we decided to make that shift, uh, is to signal to Malaysians out there that, uh, that this election is bigger than partisan politics, it's bigger than the messaging of a political party. But it's about Malaysia. Um, and in, in actuality, if you look at the back, we also bring a lot of Johor flags and also all of the flags of the district of Moa. Uh, again, it's to show that the election is supposed to be a platform for unity, not disunity, it's supposed to unite us and not divide us. Um, and it was very significant for me because it was during my first nomination um, as the Member of Parliament of Moa. My mum, to be honest. Um, oh, it's seriously coincidental, this, this is definitely not planned. Uh, there you go, it's my mum. My mum is my biggest inspiration because um, I'm a witness uh, how much of a workaholic and hard worker she is and how much she dedicates her life, uh, not just educating uh, underprivileged children, but also on building a family from bottom up. Um, and she has been, she just recently retired. Uh, she has dedicated her whole life uh, as a teacher. She has, she, she has this tuition class uh, which, which she hosts quite regularly. And those who are poor, she'll take in for free. If she goes to, to the BP or to Shell, you know, the petrol station, and she sees a kid out there selling candies or stuff, um, my mom will call him or her up and just say, hey, why don't you attend my class? Don't worry, tell your parents that it's for free. Without my mom, I wouldn't have the fighting spirit. I will not have that strong perseverance um, and that strong sense of civic duty and public duty. So my mom is definitely the biggest person who impacted my life. I'll be a teacher. Um, I'm a teacher or a lecturer, but in, in, in the academic profession. I love teaching. Before I joined, debate, uh, before I joined uh, public service, um, I was a lecturer in the International Islamic University of Malaysia. I was a researcher under the Johor State Government. So the academic field has always been my passion. Even before I joined active politics, uh, even outside of the lecturer field, um, I used to travel across the world to teach debating and public speaking. I was given the privilege to be invited to speak in more than 25 countries. So whenever I travel to these countries, uh, I learn new cultures, uh, new languages, meet up with new interesting people. And being able to teach there, in a way, also teaches me about life. So I want to continue down that path in the future. Um, and hopefully, uh, that will be my life after politics. Or it could have been my life if politics didn't enter. I mean, you don't want to reach an extreme end where you become arrogant and say that they are all wrong, I'm right. At the same time, you, want, you don't want to go under the other extreme end where you feel so depressed and then that kills whatever enthusiasm and, and, and positive vibes which you have. So it's always about finding that middle ground. Some negative comments are valid and I must open up myself to criticism and accept it that I make mistakes and I can get myself better. As someone in public service, I must accept this and I must get used to it. Uh, but instead of looking at it as something negative, I turn it into, some, into something positive. Looking at how I can improve myself and every day is, uh, is a different journey and every day is an opportunity for me to make myself better. A part of me just want to say YOLO, but uh, that's not the most informed of advice. But I always believe that if you are too risk averse, you know, we're scared to make decisions, we overthink everything, in the end we will get nowhere. At times, it is worth it to take risk, obviously calculated ones, because even if you fail, but if you know that your heart is in the right place, that failure is not the worst thing. The worst thing is that if you don't try, and then you regret it later. Um, so, follow the heart. Uh, the heart is where everything starts at. Um, and when you start something, even if it's a difficult path filled with obstacles, even if you fail, but you know that the intention is pure and what led you to make that decision was pure as well. 